Hey there guys, and welcome back to another Ultimate Skyrim developer update, and thank you for joining me here today. As always, I'd like to say hello to my newest patrons. Thank you all very much for your contributions and your support, without which Ultimate Skyrim truly would not exist. So as you guys know, the crafting overhaul has been my sole focus for quite a while now, as it's been a monumental task much larger than I originally thought it would be, and also the scope of it has grown so much since I first started. But I'm happy to report that as of this week, all of the recipes have finally been processed and are ready for integration into the dynamic crafting system. That said, there are still three relatively tough jobs that need doing before I can classify the crafting overhaul as complete. The first is unifying all of the editor IDs for recipes, since they are currently a disorganized nightmare. This is not something you guys will notice while playing, but please believe me that it's absolutely necessary for all of us working on the back end. The second task is creating recipes for all of the furnitures from Atronaut Crossing. These furnitures do not have recipes by default and are typically purchased through the MCM, but I'd like to give them recipes so that they integrate more naturally with the rest of the game. And the final task is to create and distribute blueprints. If you recall, blueprints are new items that unlock recipes for crafting, and they can be found as loot or purchased from vendors. The framework for the blueprints is already done thanks to Gato, but I still need to create and distribute the hundreds of blueprints that the system will utilize. Parts of this task can be automated, but I still expect it to be a fairly time-consuming process. Once these tasks are complete, I will have a much more accurate timeline for you regarding the release of Beta 5. On that note, I will actually be in Japan for the next two weeks with friends and family, so unfortunately all this development will have to wait until after I'm back. To be honest with you, I'm pretty wiped at the moment and could definitely use some time off, so I'm hoping to use this time as an opportunity to practice some self-care and to recharge my batteries, so to speak. That means there will be no streams for the next two weeks, but I'll be back after the trip to touch base with you guys and update you on what's coming next. Thank you all for your time and your support as always. Truly, I cannot tell you how much it means to me to have you guys in the comments and to have you in all the different branches of our community. And I will see you again in two weeks with another developer update.